this has been a year where doors we thought opened to us closed. We began the year with high hopes that we would gain clarity. Yet barely into the new year, our understanding went into a spin and pieces we thought would fit together fell through. The world as we once knew was darker this year. Yet behind every cloud lies a silver lining. Wei and I, we got uh, the keys to our house sometime in Chinese New Year. Interior designer came in February. We were hoping to get our house by June. But then COVID happened. And also, Wei's parents uh, invited us in. But <laughs> it, it wasn't easy. You know, uh, Wei's brother, he was recalled from the UK together with his family. Because of that, um, occupied all the rooms. One, eight adults in the house. And that's not counting the children. Children were running everywhere. We even had diapers in our bed. I don't even know how it got there. Worse, the toilet, the toothpaste, people squeezed them from the middle. And so I had to, to come here at times just to, to get out of the environment. You know this COVID is, is an invisible enemy. You, you just don't see it, but you see it's destruction everywhere. You know, the inconvenience it's causing us. And how long were this gonna last? The interior designer just texted us. Sorry, Menno will be delayed. New cases, long shutdown. It's just not only us. I mean, everyone has it bad too. Someone, some people, somewhere lost control over something. And us too. So, Kui and I, we decided last week we'll move in tomorrow. Yes, we know the house is not complete. But we don't know how long this is going to last. And so at least what we can do is we can stop COVID from trying to control us. We want to take back some control. And I guess this is what um, these situations do to you. It forces you to be strong. To everything, there is a season, a time to every purpose under heaven. God is able to turn your situation for good. He is the light. He knows the missing pieces. That's why He came. <laughs>